It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 26th of July. I'm Michael Groff. After a very active weather pattern the last few days, we will start to dry out and warm up today and tomorrow. But the monsoon moisture is still hanging around and will return to somewhat active weather, especially for later in the week and heading into the weekend. Of course, there's still a lot of question marks about that, where, when, and how much more rain might we get. And we'll talk about all of that in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at the almanac from yesterday. 81 degrees was the afternoon high. That's significant for a number of reasons. We put that in blue because that was a record cool high temperature for the date. That low temperature of 73, very refreshing as well. We also picked up 11 hundredths of an inch of rain at Sky Harbor. That made it four straight days of measurable rain there. Parts of the West Valley had two to five inches of rain uh, on Sunday. And while all of that is significant and very welcomed, probably the most notable part of this event, look at those temperatures Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 83, 83, and 81 respectively. And we have never had three consecutive days in the month of July with a high temperature under 90 degrees in Phoenix. And that goes all the way back to the late 19th century, 1896 to be exact. So that is something. You are living through history. You will probably never see that again here in Phoenix. All right, let's take a look outside now here at 7.45 a.m. We've got a few clouds out there right now. 77 degrees at Sky Harbor. It's still just a swamp out there. Dew point at 70, relative humidity 79%. The winds are light and the barometer is steady. Temperatures out there this morning. We are mostly starting out in the 70s, but expect afternoon highs to be about 15 degrees warmer than they were yesterday, maybe a little bit more than that in a few locations. Rainfall over the last few days, very impressive. Just what we needed. And we have widespread one to two inch amounts, but you can see many spots had over three inches. Arcadia and Scottsdale, about three and a third inches. Some spots out in the West Valley over four inches, and there were some rain gauges not displayed here that picked up in excess of five inches of rain. And you can understand why we do have still some flooded areas across the valley, and they, they will remain flooded probably for the next few days. The upper air look this morning shows you that system that brought the unsettled weather across the southwest the last few days. It is now off of the Southern California coast, so the rain chances will stay to the west in its wake. Subsidence, sinking air here across the southwest. So that will suppress shower and storm development. But look what is out over the Gulf of Mexico. We have a couple of waves there flowing around that big ridge across the Plain States, and those will eventually move on up into the southwest in coming days to give us a return to active weather, maybe even above average storm chances by the end of the week and heading into the weekend, at least potentially. Here's the watch warning map, and it's pretty quiet here in Arizona. Flood watches to the west. A number of heat advisories and excessive heat warnings across the Plain states. The convective outlook for today, the enhanced risk of severe storms up around Duluth and Hibbing, Minnesota. And here in Arizona, much of the state is in the green, according to the SPC, but I really doubt we're going to see much in the way of thunderstorm activity. I think most of that will be confined to the northwestern portion of the state. Not completely out of the question to see one or two pop-up storms in the mountains, but that's about it. And the precipitation outlook valid through next Monday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix around a tenth of an inch or so. And we could see amounts greater than one inch over the high country and some of the favored areas. But I will tell you, any one spot can see more than that. And there is that potential of much more active weather in here by the end of the week. And we'll talk about that and everything else in more detail now. As we get into modeling, here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. High pressure across the plain states, that inverted trough is sitting to the west of us, and we are left with somewhat subsident or sinking air here in Arizona today. So down at the surface, mostly sunny and much warmer here in Phoenix. Highs this afternoon, mid to upper 90s, but it will feel like well over 100 degrees, with dew points remaining very high. And shower and thunderstorm activity again confined to the northwestern portion of the state and out across Southern California, and points to the north from there. There might be a couple of pop-up storms in the mountains. The chance of measurable rain in Phoenix is technically not zero, but it is well under 10%, and we're not mentioning it in our forecast today. Tonight, mostly clear overnight lows in the 70s to low 80s. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms over the mountains, and the GFS is being a bit more aggressive at bringing some storms into the lower desert. I really doubt we're going to see anything here in Phoenix, though. And high temperatures a little warmer, upper 90s to about 103. 
On Wednesday, with that southeasterly monsoonal flow still ongoing, scattered showers and thunderstorms develop over the mountains, and we should see a return to at least widely scattered storms in the desert, so we'll return at least a small chance of rain for Phoenix. High temperatures will warm up another degree or two, but humidity levels will remain elevated. As we go to the latter part of the week and heading into the weekend, model consensus is that we will see a more dramatic upswing in shower and thunderstorm activity again, thanks to at least one, possibly two, of these inverted troughs moving into the southwest. Neither of these features looks to be quite as impressive as the system that affected us the last few days, but still, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms will be around, and any one of those storms could produce some locally heavy rain, and quite possibly even a few severe storms. High temperatures should once again trend down, and by Friday and Saturday, highs will be back into the upper 90s to about 102. Here's Sunday, same situation really, partly cloudy, scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon and evening hours, and high temperatures still upper 90s to about 102. Here is a week from today. This is Monday, the 2nd of August. We've got ridging to the east and a weak little cyclonic circulation to the west of us. Still looks like a fairly unsettled situation with scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening hours, and high temperatures remain slightly below average. Then, as we go out 10 days, this is Wednesday, the 4th of August, we've got a ridge to the west and one to the east. They may start to consolidate, and that might mean somewhat drier conditions for us and temperatures warming up back to around average. But we've seen a number of different looks out here as we go into next week, so forecast confidence remains rather low. As we look at rainfall for Phoenix over the next couple of weeks, this is coming off of the GFS Ensemble. And the mean is still up there over three quarters of an inch. So we should see a return to somewhat active weather here in time. And temperatures off the national blend of models, we're keeping it at or just a little bit below average through the entire forecast period. And again, there could be a day or two later in the week or this weekend where we don't make 100 degrees again. And that would be fantastic. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. You guys be safe. Stay cool and hydrated out there as the warm weather returns. Watch your kids around the swimming pool as well and have yourselves a wonderful Monday.